Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are taking a look at the eighth and final screenshot reveal for the Southeast Asia Animal Pack. So we have seen this one before. It is the proboscis monkey. Now I know when this first showed up in the trailer, we just had the back view. I was really, really, really hoping it was going to be a given, but it's not a given. It is our proboscis monkey. And Man, do they look awesome. Just the quality of the model, the texture, everything is just fantastic on this. So, yeah, let's jump in and take a look at these guys. So, the proboscis monkey is native only to the island of Borneo. It does co coexist with the Bornean orangutan, shares habitat with it. Truly one of the weirdest creatures on the planet at least in terms of mammals. And this pack really is like the weird mammal species of the world pack. They probably could have called it that. So we have, what do, what do we have? We, we've got the, uh, the, the Muppet monkey here. Cause it looks like a Muppet. It looks like something out of Fraggle Rock or something. We've got the pig with tusks that grow up through its skull. We've got the bear that lives in the uncanny valley. And then we've got a living saber tooth. And then we have the, decrepit bear cat critter so yeah they could have called this here's a bunch of weird animals but it's awesome so proboscis monkey this here is a photograph of the male of the species now the male and female have a high sexual dimorphism they look very very different as to what purpose the uh nose of the male serves that doesn't seem to be really known uh, to science at this point. They just kind of are what they are. Very odd creature here. Now this is what they look like in profile moving. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we see this in game. Uh, this this rig with the long-tailed, long-limbed monkey is going to be very, very valuable to us modders. I can see doing a whole bunch of different things from it, like pat us monkey, uh, various baboons, whatnot. This is so. This is going to be awesome in terms of modding. I really do hope they move like this with this um, long, lanky movement. Yeah. Uh, another photograph of it in profile. This is an animal that looks very different in profile than it does from straight on. As we can see the difference here. <laughs> Just, it doesn't look real. It, it looks like, I don't know, like an artist rendering of an alien or something. And this is good comparison here of the male and the female. Uh, very different uh, face structure very different nose structure. The f so the male looks like a Muppet, the female looks like a Who from Dr. Seuss. <laughs> then we have female with the juvenile. Now, we're not entirely certain right now whether the second animal in the screenshot is the female or if it is a juvenile. I'm kind of leaning toward, I think that's a juvenile. It, it Planet Zoo tends to do juveniles not as little tiny little babies, but kind of like midway in their growth, and they're just that size throughout their whole juvenile phase. Um, I, I think that's a juvenile, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get this thing in game on Tuesday. Check it out. See what it really is. What it really looks like. But fabulous addition to the Planet Zoo lineup. Uh, this is what a very young proboscis monkey looks like. Again, with our female here in profile with that um, kind of upturned nose rather than the, uh, the long hanging nose of the male. So, native to the island of Borneo, they are endangered um, because of their limited range, confined to basically one island. They're pretty under threat from habitat loss, logging, um, palm oil plantations are another huge threat to them, as well as to the Borneo orangutans. They're also considered a delicacy in some areas, so they are hunted a bit. They do have quite a few protected reserves and national parks that they can find sanctuary in, though. Now, these animals don't breed well in captivity, so they're not well represented in most zoos. Now, the Singapore Zoo does have 
a breeding population of them. Other than that, I'm not too sure where else they actually appear in zoo collections. So this is a group of males, uh, it looks like various males, and then either a subadult male or a female with them. Again, very, very neat animals, very interesting coat colors on these. Now, these are a swimming primate. They're one of the only primates that swim, aside from humans. And apparently they do so quite frequently, to the point that they've actually, um, that some of them actually do have webbed, uh, webbed toes to assist in the swimming. Now, if they can cross a river or a body of water arboreally up in the trees, they tend to do so. If they have to swim, though, this is how they tend to enter the water, which is just cannonball off the tree branches, splash in, and then swim for it. And now they're quite efficient swimmers. They can swim, I believe it's something like upwards of, uh, let me find it here. They can swim quite a distance underwater. I want to say it's like 20 meters or something. Underwater, yeah, here we go. The capable of swimming up to 20 meters underwater to cross rivers. Now, what lives in the rivers in Borneo? Well, crocodiles. So if they can't stay out of the water, they do, but they do tend to, but they will swim if they have to, and they usually will not live further, they will not travel more than a kilometer from a water source. They are a very water-dependent animal. It'd be great to see these in-game, see what they do when we put water in their habitat, maybe do some underwater viewing for them. That'd be really cool, even though I, I doubt that they'll have any kind of deep diving mechanics. At least see a, you know, monkey paddling around on the surface would be awesome. So, this is our proboscis monkey, the eighth and final animal for this new DLC pack that is dropping on Tuesday, and these guys are going to be what I build a habitat for first in my Tahan Zoo. Looking forward to it. Can't wait to see them. Can't wait to play with them. They're going to be awesome. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. What do you think of the proboscis monkey? Should they have gone with a different choice? Should they have given us a gibbon instead, or some other, or a langur, or some other primate species. Now, I've been saying for a long, long time, we need more primates in this game, so we have a new primate, so I'm happy with that. Yeah, uh, like this video if you've enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I really do appreciate it. It helps me grow the channel. And hit the bell notification if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you in the next one.